In this video, we're going to describe the open flow table, open flow table flow entries. So the open flow table is a data structure that resides in the high speed data plane of an open flow switch. Its contents determine the forwarding behavior and packet handling behavior of that open flow switch. An open flow table has one or more flow entries. Each flow entry has a set of components. In this example, we're going to describe header fields, actions, and priorities. In addition to these three fields, there are counters and timers. Header fields are used to identify which packets to perform an action on. So for example, if you wanted to have packets that come in port 1, go out a certain port, you could identify those packets in the header field by saying if ingress port equal 1 and then in the next column you can have an action that will be applied to packets that meet that criteria. In our example we've said if the input port equal 1 then the action is to output the packet to port 2 and we've given that entry a priority of 100. You can have multiple actions per flow table entry so in addition to sending this packet out port 2 We'll also send this packet to the controller. It's a special case called a packet in event when your flow table entry includes an action of sending the packet to the controller. In our second flow table entry, we've created a header field value that says if the IP address is 10.1.2.1, then the action to apply to that packet is rewrite the IP address to 129.4.5.1. You might use a feature like this when you're doing network address translation. In addition to rewriting that field, the action includes outputting the packet to port 6. So the purpose of the priorities column is to resolve conflicts when multiple entries match a particular packet. So imagine in our scenario, we have a packet that's coming in on port 1 and has an IP address of 10.1.2.1. So this packet would match both of these rules. The rule with the highest priority is the rule that's applied to the packet. So in this case, the packet would be rewritten to 129.4.5.1 and output on port 6.